Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel, welcome back to another one of our top 5 series. Today we're going to go with the mid-tier right wings, and I must admit, this one was pretty tricky. There aren't too many right wings that come into this category, a lot of them are well over 100k and really expensive, and a lot of them are actually really, really cheap, so this one was tough. Now, if you do need a place to get some MSP codes or percent codes, check out G2A TBY3, we'll get you some money off, their link is in the description. Let's have a little chat about some runners up. So we have William Carrasco and Isco. Isco is great in a 4 1 2 1 2. I know his strength isn't amazing, but he just seems to work really, really well there. So give it a try. 4 4 2 as well. Very nicely fits him. Carrasco is so good at right wing, but I feel like everyone else in the countdown does just a little bit better than him. William's great and he's also got some good links as well. But number five is going to be Shakiri, and he's got such good pace. Like, his acceleration is crazy, not to mention his finishing and general shooting is really nice as well. And in a 4-4-2 and a 4-1-2-1-2, it actually works really, really well. Like, as a right mid, I think this card is sensational and I'd really recommend it. Obviously, he's going to do better at right forward. I even played him at striker and he was brilliant. Play him wherever you want. He's going to do some work. Four-star skills as well. Number four is going to be Douglas Costa and I really love this card. I think it's great. Amazing acceleration. He's so quick. He doesn't have the best work rate. I really wish he'd push forward a little bit more. And he does get shoved off the ball a little bit. But that's not really a problem because you've got five star skills to get around any opponent you really need to. And his finesse shot is just so good. Once he gets the ball, he really gets going. And he's such a fun card to use. So I definitely recommend throwing him in a team. Number three, though, is going to be the inform Eric Lamela. He was a little bit higher up if I do remember rightly in my affordable informs and he's just such a good card he really is but he does get outshined by a couple of players his pace is good the only thing that i don't like is his work rate but generally speaking his long shots are great his free kicks are decent he's got good links in the bpl four star skills what more do you really need his crossing is actually quite good as well which is also a big plus number two though is going to be the only silver card that i really like and that is going to be the inform williams it's a broken beyond belief card. He's so good. 87 strength. He's got 94 pace and 77 shooting. He really doesn't feel like a silver. The only downside really is his dribbling. And judging by the card stat, you'd say that's quite a big, I guess, negative of the card. But it really didn't pay attention. Like, it didn't really come into effect. I didn't really feel like he had 74 dribbling at all. Falls our skills. Very, very nice indeed. But number one is going to be the Inform Hulk. And my god, this card is so good. Just the, the strength, the pace, the shooting, the work rate. It's so, so good. The only thing that I struggle with this card is making an interesting team around him. Vitzel's great. Link him up with Vitzel. And then you have Mario Fernandez, the right back, who you can link up with. But other than that, there isn't really too many interesting ways you can get him into a team. But that does not stop me. He is so, so good and reasonably priced as well. So that is my top five. We've got Hulk, Williams, Costa, Lamela, and Shakiri. A really cool top five in my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. And if you have enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe for some more for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day. He is so good and reasonably